Hello everyone, in this video, I'll show you how to customize your database schema. All right, so let's say if you want to make some changes in your table or include some indexes in column, how you will do that. So let us see how we can do it with the help of code. Command plus T on Mac. Uh, let's say I want to do some changes in the customer class. So I'll simply go to customer. Okay, now here you can see here we will add a, another class that we call it as inner class and we'll name it as metadata. So for including the metadata, we will use the inner class over here. So if you go to the documentation of Django, I'll just take you the documentation of Django. If you come over here, you write metadata Django, then you will have these many options. So you can see that this document explains all the possible metadata options that you can give your model in its internal class. So we'll make one internal class first, and then we'll use some of the options here, like DB table are there, Okay, so DB table are there for specifying the table name. Then we can add the indexes for creating the index also. All right, so all these things are over here. So let's go to the code. And here you can see here is a customer class. So inside this class, I'll make another class that is inner class. I'll write class, I'll write meta. Okay, now after this i'll include a db table so i'll write db db table equals to and you can say it as let's say store customers okay so i'm making one table called store customers all right or is go space it there abhi kya karna hai Abhi iske andar hume define karna hai indexes ko. So I will write indexes. Okay. Equals to. Indexes it is nothing but an array. Okay. So first I will make an array. Uske baad. I will create an index. So I will write models dot index. And it will have a field. As keyword argument. So I will write fields okay equals to which is an array of a string so string may have done the last name and first name take a you can last name and first name care we can use them to speed up our queries take it so now I'll write last name okay and was kebab I'll write first name okay now you save the changes control s and now i'll run the migration so i'll simply go to my terminal now i'll write python manage.py python manage.py make migrations okay now when you do this, you see index has no attribute, no attribute called. Okay, here it is caps. Okay, now it will save it. Now again, Python manage.py make migrations, and now you see. So if you see over here, it has created a migration, but name if you see is a little uh, different type. This is why because we have performed two different operations over here. First thing is that we had created an index and then second thing we had done the renaming of the table. So these are the things which we should avoid. Okay, we should not be keeping like this. So you perform one operations at a time and then you migrate, then perform different operation at the time and then you migrate. So like that. So we'll see how to revert it in the next uh, tutorial. But uh, for time being, I'm just doing a uh, migrating it for showing you. So I will write Python manage.py migrate okay why i'm doing spelling mistake okay now you see migrations have been applied now if you come over here you go to your xlite explorer database table and you refresh it so you can see over here store collection naam ka ek yahan pe table ban chuka hai theek hai so you can see store customers over here 
now in the next video i'll show you how to revert this migration back in case like if we do some mistake like over here we have done it so how to revert it that we will see in our next tutorial so thank you so much for watching me and see you in next video guys take care